we're on the verge of creating history. From the Segunda Division, we've taken our club all the way to a Spanish Cup final, where we're up against Barcelona. Marcos Rey, our goal machine, is honestly the reason we're in this position. But Marcos, in a recent game, sprained his knee, and he's a major doubt for the Cup final. If Marcos doesn't recover in time, there is just no chance we can even compete with Barcelona. It's a race against time for the Cup final. Can he recover? Oh man, it's such a shame that Marcos Rey, the man who scored 31 goals in 39 games, has sprained his knee in such a crucial part of the season. He's going to be out for the next three weeks, and that's going to really affect our fight for promotion, obviously. But also, that means I really have no clue whether he's going to be available for the big cup final. Look at this. Marcos himself is saying it. My knee is not looking too good. Ah. But guys, the truth is we're in the business end of the season, and we can't just let that define our season. We've still got a couple of months where we need to try and get over Levante and secure promotion and hopefully the title and also put up a fight against Barca. Okay, guys, I think the plan now is to figure out a way we can play without Marcos Rey starting. So for now, I think Barrios is our only choice. And tell you what, when I did play him, I do remember him scoring a goal. Take a look. Wow, Barrios might just join the party. Barrios might just join the party and Barrios gets his first as well. What an ending to this game. This kid clearly has got the finishing ability, but I do get it. Nobody can replace Marcos Rey. It's going to be a race against time for this cup final for Ray to recover. Let's hope for the best, but until then, let's make the push for promotion. Oh man, this is going to be our first game without Marcos Rey. I really don't know if we're going to be able to compete. Oh, already we're on the back foot. He has a chance for our opponents and they completely bottled it. We'll take it. Oh, by the way, look at this. We've been one of the best defensive teams in the league. That's awesome. I guess I got to give the credit there to, of course, Gonzalez and Nils Alonso, who have been absolutely rock solid at the back. Right now, we need to see what we can do in the attack as the ball gets cut back in. No, I probably should have played the cut back through to Barrios, but his run there wasn't good enough. Villa looking for Barrios. It's a big chance for a big save from the keeper. Okay, now Barrios is slowly getting into the game. It's a big opportunity for him as well to prove his worth. That's it, first half, and it was super tough without Marcos Rey. The big thing we're missing is that focal point in the middle. And honestly, guys, without Marcos Rey, I'm worried against Barcelona. We're just going to get destroyed. We really need him back. But for now, we can't think about that. We need to try and just win this game. Galeano seeing the run of Barrios. This could be a big moment for him. His shirt's being pulled. But Barrios, that's the difference between Marcos Rey and Barrios. But no means is Barrios bad. But he's young and inexperienced. And he's going to make mistakes like that. Caballero with the chance. Looking for Villar. Goes for goal. And what a finish from Villar. That's what's up. When we don't have Marcos Rey, other players need to step up and Villa has done just that. Abiero looking for Matias Sula and it's a chance for him to get on the score sheet and there you go. Come on. Sula with the finish. 2-0 up. That should get us the win. This was a very important result for us in the absence of, of course, Marcos Rey. Other players stepped up big time. But we've still got at least three to four more games left to survive without Ray, and that's not going to be easy. Meanwhile, guys, time to talk a bit about our youth academy. So far in our academy, we've got a couple of players off which Jovanovic looks like the real deal. He's soon hopefully going to be a starting player for us. But I do feel we need more players in the academy. So our second scout that we've got, Hector Ruiz, who we, by the way, spent $4 million for, I'm going to send him somewhere to hopefully get us some talents. But I'm kind of unsure where. I think France is a good place for young talents, you know? Yeah, I think I think we'll send him to France for three months and hopefully he can get us some talents from there. Because we need to get some good young talents this season onwards so we can get them involved in the team next season and that, that's the plan. Meanwhile, we continue to push for promotion, but without Marcos Rey, can we hopefully just keep winning? Well, here we have Barrios now. He's opening up some space, releasing it for Galliano. That was a really good move from him and Galliano does the rest, scoring the goal to put us into the lead. Barrios, again, he may not score in goals, but he's getting chances for Matias Sula and Galliano and this time, Sula puts it in the back of the net. Another solid result for us, but I'm really hoping we get to see Barrios get on the score sheet. That's going to be big for his confidence. Remember we sent a scout to Argentina in the last episode? Well, he's back with a monthly scouting report, but every player he's got us is absolutely 
absolutely shambolic. Bro, honestly, is there even a point having a three-star scout? Because they just bring you, like, literally the worst players ever. Meanwhile, even without Marcos Ray, the push continues and we're top of La Liga Smart Bank and that's big. But now we're up against Alaves and they're one of the contenders for promotion as well. This is going to be a big test without Marcos Ray. Oh no, I've been completely bamboozled there. What was I thinking? I just got spun in the defense there. 1-0 Alaves. Need Matias Sula as he looks for a ball for Barrios. What? What did Barrios do there? Come on, that was his moment. We're really missing Marcos Ray, especially in the big games. No, nope. no, no, no. They almost just scored a second. Oh, this is getting frustrating. Matias Sula is literally channeling his inner Messi over here, running from deep as he keeps going forward, but he's not Messi. And now they've got another chance to score. Come on. No, no, no. Is that going to be an own goal? Thankfully, it isn't. No, no, no. They might score Mendes with the save. Oh, we literally should be 2-0 or 3-0 down. We're super lucky. Oh, this is a problem. And Mendes again saving us. Imagine at one point we wanted to sell Mendes. Glad we didn't. Oh, Matias Matias Sula threw on goal. This is our chance to get the equalizer. No, Sula went for the cheeky chip. <sighs> that was our chance. Although we could still have another opportunity. Caballero finding Barrios. Oh, it's Barrios. A huge moment for the young kid. He finally gets his goal. It's been a struggle to get him on the score sheet, but he's done it. And in a pretty important game for us as well. No, no, no. The game could end in heartbreak for us. Gonzalez has done so well to save us there. That has honestly got us a point from this game. We'll take it. We didn't deserve to win this. Barrios scored a goal. Without Marcos Ray, it's been a struggle, but we're pushing through. We follow this up with a win against Mirandes, and it was a convincing 4-0 win. Would you look at that? Without Marcos Ray, I think we've done a great job job in keeping our spot at the top of La Liga Smart Bank. Of course, Levante are still in a better spot than us because they've got a game in hand, but not bad at all. And now the moment of truth is here. It's the Spanish Cup final against Barcelona. We still don't know if Marcos Ray is fit and available for this game. We're going to have to wait to find out. Before that, let's do a press conference. First question, I think you need one experienced veteran in the squad or they could be a sub. I think the club needs that experience. It would be good to maybe go for a free agent or an Older player. That is honestly an elite suggestion. Imagine Sergio Ramos playing Brestucci Club the football in Spain, or David Silva showcasing his magic in the midfield. That is something definitely we need to consider. But the thing is, for the first season, while we're in the Segunda Division, it doesn't make sense. What makes sense is just using the youngsters we have and growing them as much as we can. But in the future, once we're in La Liga, this is definitely on the plan. Ooh, this next one's interesting. If you had to release one player from your team, who would it be? To be honest, it's easy. It's going to be Acuna because we've already sold him. He's going to be joining Havre AC when the trans window opens. And yep, that means next season um, when hopefully we're in La Liga, we're going to probably need to sign a new right back. So let me know if you guys have got any ideas for that. Next up, you should use the academy players in the league so they have more experience. Love the content. Hey, appreciate that, man. The truth is, guys, I think we've kind of failed building an academy in this season. The only good player we've got is Jovanovic. I'm hoping until the end of the season we can have more players in our academy that are decent. Honestly, there's only one man to blame for this, and it's Kepa Soler the fraud. This three-star judgment scout has been so bad that we've got literally no one good in our academy apart from Jovanovic. So maybe next season we'll have them playing in the team. But with the press conference out of the way, it's time to create history, the Spanish Cup final. The question is, is Marcos Rey ready? Okay, the good news is he's recovered from his injury, but the bad news is that he's not fully fit. Oh no. Guys, his stamina is literally in the yellow. It's 50% fitness, basically. That means I don't think I can start him. Okay, we're gonna have to make an extremely tough decision. But I think Barrios has to start this game. We'll keep Marcos Ray on the bench. But I do not see Marcos Ray completing this game. Maybe we can bring him on after the 60th minute. But uh, Marcos Ray, this is painful. And the fact that Marcos Ray is a former Barcelona Academy prospect. I'm sure this was the game he wanted to play. Bruh. And ironically, the reason he didn't succeed at Barcelona was an injury and now once again it's an injury that's gonna get him to miss this game but hopefully in the second half when we bring him on he can have an impact but here we are up against Barca. This is still mind-boggling we're playing at the Bernabeu against Barcelona who would have thought and here 
they walk out, they must be thinking, who are these irrelevant players in irrelevant club? But we've knocked out La Liga teams before. If Barcelona aren't lightly afraid of us, I think, you know what? They're just underestimating us. And let's put up a show. Let's put up a fight. I know we can do something here. Player to watch Galeano. And he's he definitely is, especially in the absence of Marcos Rey. Oh, man, the game is kicking off. Barcelona versus S2G Club, the football in the Spanish Cup final. Our chance at winning a major trophy. And already, challenges are flying. We took out Pedri there. Uh, but this is Barcelona we're talking about. We're going to have to be really rough there. Alonso puts in a good challenge. But look at the pressure from Barca. They're just coming at us constantly with Rafinha now on the ball. Cross nope. inside for Lewandowski. They almost scored within the first 10 minutes itself. Robert Lewandowski looking inside for Rafinha. And there's the first goal for Barcelona. Ah, the pain begins. Do you know what? If we can keep the scoreline 1-0 as long as possible, maybe nick a goal. That's, I think, probably the only way we can survive this. That That's the dream as Galeano... He's just not good enough right now to compete against Barca. No, Barcelona are just walking past us right now. Mendes is having to make save after save to just keep us in it. Barcelona have themselves a free kick and Lewandowski, what? Yo, this is, this is La Liga. This is the level of the best clubs in Spain. I just couldn't do anything. No, 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 no. Come on. 3-0 in the first half. This is just embarrassing. That's the first half done and uh, yeah, I, I I don't even know what's the point of playing this game ahead but you know what we've come this far i want to at least try and get on the score sheet i think that'd be a statement do i bring on marcos Rey? you know what even though he's on 50 fitness and I, I don't know if he's going to be able to finish the game i think we'd be doing injustice to marcos Rey by not involving him in this game it's his former club he deserves to play this so the second half kicks off with us being three nil down but we're gonna push to at least get on the score sheet marcos Rey against this former club he's not fully fit but but he still, oh, that was his chance. Marcos Rey. Uh, I know he wasn't fully fit, but come on. The pressure of playing against his former club maybe got to him there. Honestly, though, with Marcos Rey on the pitch, it feels like there is a bit of belief in this team that something is possible. And that's what a player like Marcos Rey brings. But can we get him on the score sheet against his for former club? That would just be the dream. We might have a chance. No, we don't. Barca just too good. This might be his chance. Marcos Rey. Can he score? Tough angle. This time, at least it was on target. Barcelona going for more. They're going for more. Alonso, our captain, saving us from getting embarrassed even further. Honestly, I have a lot of respect for Marcos Rey. Even though he's not fully fit, he's doing everything. And now releasing Galliano, but offside. The team gave it everything in the second half, man. We didn't concede. Ah. Full time, and I don't want to endure the celebrations. It's honestly painful, because it's not like it was a close game and we lost. We got annihilated. Yeah, we got destroyed and I don't know if we gained any valuable experience from this but one thing we do know if we're in La Liga next season it's gonna be a tremendous challenge just to survive and would you believe it just after the game media outlets hating on Marcos Rey calling him a fraud and just saying stuff like Barcelona were right in letting him go he's always injured and when he's fit he can't do much like I can't believe it well there isn't much we can do right now apart from just getting our heads back up because we need to we're still in contention for the Segunda Division title and I'm desperate to win that and prove everyone wrong. It's the best way to bounce back from a cup final defeat. So let's get back to playing games and winning. Marcos Rey is now fully fed back in the lineup. Time to put that disappointment from the cup behind us and get back to focusing on getting promoted. Caballero, lovely bit of turn and there's the pass for Marcos Rey. Can he get back to scoring nope. goals? No, the keeper saves. Uh, the wait to see Marcos Rey score again continues. Acuna looking for a cross for Marcos Rey and he's back to scoring goals but i think he mistimed his run <sighs> no 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 they might actually score mendes with another big save maybe we need something fresh on the pitches by the way diara has now recovered from his injury as well so that's awesome we're gonna bring him on for caballero and see if he can add something to the team oh this is bad this is bad this is bad granada score <sighs> ever since the cup final everything seems to be falling apart galliano now this is 
our chance if we can somehow get back into this game. It's off the post as well. Are you joking? Surely it can't get any worse. Of course it does. We're 2-0 down. Galeano trying to get us back into this game. Well, he's got us at least the goal back, but we need others to step up. Full time and it ends in a painful defeat. The cup final defeat might just completely derail our season. Thankfully, we're able to pick up a crucial win against Real Oviedo, but still, Marcos Ray couldn't score. Somehow, even through these inconsistencies, we're still top of the league, but that might actually end because we're now facing Levante and guess who's been scoring all the goals for Levante? You guessed it, it's freaking Marquez, the player who betrayed us in left. Look at him ball out for, of course, Levante. 10 goals and 8 assists. This game could honestly decide who wins the title and secures automatic promotion. Guys, we need to win this game and get the better of Marquez. Like, I do not want to see him win the league over us. That be just uh, brutal. But already we've got Levante on the attack and they've almost just scored. Wow. No, no, no. Levante with the chance and they've actually scored. Are we going to bottle the league like this? Nah. I can already sense Marquez laughing. There he is coming in and celebrating and all. Oh. If there's any chance we can beat Levante in this battle, we need this man Marcos Ray to wake up. Caballero who's really established himself as a starter. We might wow. have a chance. Marcos Ray. That was a give. I do not believe how he's not scored that with Marcos Ray not performing we need other players to step up and it could be Matias Sula and it is he scores gets us back into the game we needed that Marcos Ray this time surely could he get back to scoring yeah. Marcos Ray the finishing it's just not going in his favor but I must say he's getting in a better position slowly and I'm sure at some point he's gonna get the luck half time and what a battle against Marquez's Levante the winner of this game most likely is gonna win the title Villa looking for Galliano the turn the turn and the finish let's go we take the lead against Levante Marcos Reyes having a tough time but no problem his teammates are backing him up Marquez and we're putting a strong challenge in him but he keeps going oh my god finally we get it off him oh no free kick from a dangerous position the last time it was Lewandowski who managed to score this time rattles off the crossbar Marcos Reyes got an in behind this is his chance go on it would be lovely to see him get on the score sheet. Marcos Ray, he's back. It took him a while to adapt, but he is now back. And that goal is going to do wonders for his confidence and puts us in a great spot to secure the win. Galeano looking for the long ball for Marcos Ray and he touches that one forward. This is what Marcos Ray is all about. And there's the finish as well. All he needed was one goal to get back in a rhythm. And that's a huge win for us against rivals Levante. Oh, where's Marquez? Um, did he go missing? Yeah, that's why we sold him the fraud. But there you go. A big win for us. Look at that. We've now created a four-point gap to Levante. It's, I think, over. The title race is done. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure if we win our next game, we're going to lift the title. Of Bruh. course, man. We're on course to win the title. And we can see the silly penalty. Brilliant. Let's... Let's somehow save this. No. Well, Mendez goes the wrong way. Guys, this was supposed to be a party. We were supposed to celebrate the title. Instead, we've conceded a second penalty. Galeano in a simple 1v1 yeah. should help us get a goal back, but we missed. That just sums up our game. And we take the El to Leganes. Uh, and no title celebrations for us, I guess. We're just going to have to delay the inevitable. Wait a minute, guys. Levante have completely fallen off. But then it's Eibar who could still end up winning the title. Yo, Levante are gonna have to go through playoffs that is crazy they were with us throughout the season and now they're gonna have to go through playoffs but we're up against well albacete in the final game of the season all we got to do is win and we'll take home the title guys why are all the attacks against us right now i do not like this mendez with a big save okay though we have a chance now asula slides this one through for marcos ray the goal machine is back and back scoring the big goals for us 1-0 in this title decider what is up with all these penalties we're conceding mendez You've got to save at least one and a big save from Mendes. Matias Sula, I see a position for the cross and Marcos Ray, what a finish. That should settle things for us. That's more like the Marcos Ray we know and love. Oh my God, we've got a penalty and it is a chance for Marcos Ray to complete that hat trick of his. Can he get it done? Of course he can. Hat trick to win the title. And it 
it's done. It's time for the celebrations. A tough season of getting S2G Club the football off the track. And well, we've pulled it off. First season in Spain and off we go to La Liga as champions of the Segunda Division. Oh boy, it does feel good. Bro, why is it Sanogo lifting the trophy? Where's Nils Alonso? No, Nils Alonso got subbed off. That's what I hate about career mode. Like, let my captain lift the trophy. But anyways, we win the Segunda Division. What a season it was for Marcos Rey. 34 games in 38. Honestly could have scored more. But overall, this team just went above and beyond. Players like Galliano, Sula, Villa, everybody stepped up. In fact, a lot of players ended up playing a big part. But next season, we're going to need even more from this team. Because we're going to be in La Liga competing against Barcelona and Real Madrid. Season 2, I'll see you guys then.